Hello everybody and welcome to my Stalker Anomaly Gamma Installation Guide for 0.9. This is for people who have not played before. This is not how to update your stuff. This is uh, a fresh install for people that, you know, want a video tutorial and don't want to read too much. Everything you'll need to install the game and everything will be down in the description. With all of that out of the way, you will need 80 gigabytes free on your hard drive. Uh, it's recommended to use a solid state drive, but you can use whatever drive you want. I recommend having 100 gigabytes free because uh, you never know when you might need the extra space. Um, they also recommend that you don't use WinRAR and you use 7-Zip. And if you don't have 7-Zip, like I said, down in the description below. First, you'll need to make two different folders at the root of the drive you want to install it on. So on your C drive or your D drive, a lot of you will probably just put it on your C drive. Um, so you'll want to make anomaly and put that into your root and make gamma and put that into your root folder. After you've added your folders to your root drive that you want you will want to add anomaly and gamma those folders you made to the windows defender exclusions list uh, you just add exclusions just for those two folders and then you're good to go Uh, so to install Anomaly, you can access the link and the magnet link from the Gamma Discord. I suggest using the torrent link that they provide and using Deluge. They suggest using Qubit Torrent. I cannot suggest that because I've never used it before. So I will have Deluge down in the description below, but if you want to use Qubit Torrent, you can get that from their Discord. Once you have the 1.5.1 version of Anomaly, you'll want to get the 1.5.2 version of Anomaly, which can also be accessed from the ModDB link or from the official torrent available at the Gamma Discord. I'll be using the torrent links for this because it makes installation faster. Once you have those two files installed, you'll want to get the Gamma Client, which is the Gamma RC 3.7 zip file that you get from the Go File link in the um, Discord, the Gamma Discord. Once you've downloaded that, you'll also want to go and fetch the downloads.7zip file from another Go File link from the Discord. Then you'll want to grab the launcher also from the Discord. It's worth disclaiming here that uh, Gamma, the community, they recognize that the program, the launcher, comes up as a virus. And the reason for that is because there's no signature on it, because adding additional signature to a product costs money. And this is a free modification for a free game that you're downloading. Now, before we continue, just make sure that you have all five of the files that I've told you to, to download from their Discord or from 7-Zip or whatever. Just make sure you have everything that you need, and then we'll move on to the actual installation and download process. Using 7-Zip, extract the Stalker Anomaly 1.5.1 7-Zip into your Anomaly folder that you created in the previous steps. You'll want to extract the files by right-clicking 7-Zip, extract files dot dot dot, then selecting your anomaly folder, and then you'll hit OK. But you'll make sure that you don't have the checkbox in the upper left below the destination path checked. You want that unchecked at all times for this tutorial. Just make sure it's unchecked. And using 7-Zip, the way we extracted 1.5.1, 1 
you'll want to extract Anomaly 1.5.1 to 1.5.2 update 7-zip into the same Anomaly folder that you, you did in the first step. Just copy the same steps and proceed. Make sure the box is unchecked and all that. Now, from this point, once everything is completed and everything's extracted properly, you should be able to run Stalker Anomaly at this point. And at this point, you can go on and play Stalker Anomaly on its own. If that's all you're here for, you can stop watching now and then you're done. You can go play, have fun. For those of you who would like to continue, once you've launched Stalker Anomaly and gotten to the menu, close out Stalker Anomaly. Next, using 7-zip, extract the gamma rc3.7z file into the gamma folder you made in the last steps. You'll use the same method that we did for the anomaly folder for extraction. So just make sure the box isn't checked and just do what you did before, but for the gamma folder instead. After you've extracted that, extract the launcher that you downloaded earlier and extract it into the gamma folder slash grox mod pack installer. And then you'll want to delete the old installer that it comes with and launch the new launcher. Once you're in the new launcher, it should be noted that you should be launching it in uh, administrator mode. So right click it, launch as administrator. Once you're in the launcher, you'll want to hit first install initialization. You'll want to hit that and then an error will pop up. You'll just hit OK and then a new window will come up and then you'll want to click on browse, find your anomaly folder and then just click OK on the anomaly folder. Once it does that, it should open up your mod organizer 2 window, which should have zero mods in it at this point. And now once you've done that, you can close Mod Organizer 2. Make sure that the four boxes on the top in the orange section of the launcher are checked. If you have a lower end computer, you can tag the fifth box if you'd like. But if you have a good computer, that shouldn't be a problem. You can just leave that unchecked. Once you've verified that those are all checked, you'll just hit install or an update gamma. Once everything is completed and you see in the bottom it says you should be able to hit play now, you can hit play now and Mod Organizer 2 should launch with 380 mods at the time of recording in the Mod Manager or Mod Organizer 2 window. It should say 380 mods. So if things are a little different here and you're having issues following this tutorial and things aren't working, I highly recommend just going over to their official Discord on Gamma and following it there in their how to install section. Once you've verified that MO2 has 380 mods, you are free to launch the game however you want. I use DirectX 11, so I set up a DirectX 11 shortcut and placed it on my desktop for quick launching. And as you can see now, everything runs well. I have all the mods, the cool task board, the graphics look nice. We have Gamma installed and I'm able to play now. If this video helped you at all, leave a like. Aside from that, I hope this helped a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll do my best to help. 
And until my next upload, which will hopefully be another stalker video, I'll see you then.